Good afternoon to you viewers, this is the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange for British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. And today we've got something a bit peculiar, a 10 inch Decker special record of Gilly Potter. And it's entitled, You Know, and all that. It is in fact some sort of pe very peculiar advertising record. Again, another bizarre one, you wonder why it was ever made. Good evening, everybody. This is Gilly Potter speaking to you. You know, Gilly Potter the funny man. Mr. Gilly Potter from Hogs Norton and all that. I'm speaking to you tonight from Stratton House, Piccadilly. Not that I've given up my flat in Peabody's buildings. No, I'm speaking to you tonight from Stratton House, Piccadilly, merely because between ourselves I struck a patch of pretty good going lately. Firstly, I now get one and sixpence a week for life for winning a football competition. On top of that, my old aunt Algebra, who married my mother's brother Euclid, has left me all her estate at Epsom, lying partly at the foot of the Downs, very largely in the hands of the Mormagee. Mm -hmm. But what you're dying to know, of course, is what I'm doing here at Stratton House Piccadilly, and all that. Well, you see, it's like this. Last night, I went down to consult my medical man, and after I told him my symptoms, listened to his usual temperance lecture, waited for him to wrap up the pills, all that, his last injunction to me, before the policeman told him to move his stall further away from the curb, was get out into the country, or get out of the country. I forget which. Something about the country, though, and by George, he was right. Now, there are several ways of getting into the country. You can go, for example, either from Baker Street or from Sheer Boredom, or for that matter, by road. You know, on foot or on a bicycle or by hanging on the back of a milk van and all that. Though some folks prefer to motor. Now, there are several methods of getting a motor car. One is to wait until the owner goes to tea. Another is to wait until the car shop opens, then go in, make your choice, and come out with a five years guarantee. Or, if you prefer it, and many do, you may wait until the shop closes, and then go in and take your choice, and come out after a five year sentence. However, if you want a motor car that you can get easily, keep easily, lose easily, and find again easily, then go to University Motors Limited. You know, the car chaps, cleanliness with comfort. Established 25 years, back in 10 minutes, and all that. Don't forget the Limited, by the way. Though why Limited, I do not know. For there is no limit to the number of universities from which these good fellows come. You know, Oxford, Cambridge, Kingston Bypass, all that. Nor to the variety of their cars, from expensive ones like Cascara Sagradas with two footmen, to cheaper ones like Hope Brothers with two collars. Nor again is there any limit to the courtesy of the staff. He never failed to remove their right gloves before shaking hands with a master of otter hounds, and invariably raised their top hats when requesting the char lady to remove the empties. And as for their consideration in matters of financial arrangement, it's easier to get them to take back the car than to get them to take the first installment. They have also a part exchange system under which one may leave instead of money any old object, you know, harpoon or a rocking horse season ticket to Surbiton and all that. Personally, I'm here now doing business with the York Ham. In short, you'll find them typical varsity men without a spot on their clothing to give a clue as to the nature of their last meal. And as to their appearance and address, I can vouch for the former and give you the latter, which is University Motors Limited, Stratton House, Piccadilly. Well, so long everybody. Good hunting. Remember me to the wife. Thank the vicar for his harvest address. You know, all that. Well, I don't know, viewers, most peculiar. Was there a subliminal message there? Kingston Bypass, Surbiton, Hope Brothers. Was this an advert for the great man, Mr Hope, the gramophone dealer? We shall see, viewers. Goodbye.